Hey guys, this is the Great Jedi and welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into the video, please consider subscribing, smashing the like button, commenting, and hitting the notifications bell down below. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. So today we have some release notes to go over for the February 12th patch and I'm pretty excited to get into this because I wasn't really expecting a second update or the second patch for this month. And we're still going to have our February update, so I'm really excited. So this was posted by uh, Forge, the EA Community Manager. And let's jump right into it. So he says, hello there. It's been great watching your reactions to the arrival of both BB-8 and BB-9E last week. And we hope you've been enjoying supremacy within the Age of Resistance. With the BB update now live, our next deployment is a small patch which goes live on Wednesday, February 12th. This patch has a number of fixes, including issues such as BB-8 and BB-9E having the wrong voice lines, so voiceover lines, and a fix for General Grievous's claw rush, sometimes draining all the stamina of an opponent. We've also implemented various collision, visual effects, and lighting improvement across both MC-85 Star Cruiser and Resurgent Class Star Destroyer. Some balance changes are also arriving in this patch with the Vizian Gunner, Cafex Spy, Sith Trooper, and First Order Jet Trooper having their battle point gain reduced by 50% to bring them in line with the other reinforcements. So it looks like these new reinforcements are getting a bit of a nerf to their battle point gain, but it's nothing big because they're just balance, balancing them with the other reinforcements. They go on and say, we are lowering the heat cost for the spool up functionality on the heavy troop trooper's sentry abilities and Darth Vader is having his damage reduction reduced from 75 down to 20%. I totally agree with both those changes. It says the update is currently scheduled to go live at our usual deployment times at 9 o'clock UTC for PC, 10 o'clock UTC for PS4, and 11 o'clock UTC for Xbox One. So it's like normal, PC's getting it first then PlayStation, then Xbox One. And it says, we look forward to seeing you on the battlefront. Okay. So, I'm just going to go over the main things here that I see. Um, you know, there's, it doesn't look like there's very much, so we're just going to go ahead and read all of them, actually. So, let's start with the first one. They fixed an issue where the boarding cinematic would be visible when completing the final objective of any capital ships on Jakku. Okay. They fixed an issue that would allow the First Order Jet Trooper to dash more than two times. Okay, good fix. So it looks like there's a bunch of bug fixes, which I am all for. Uh, they fixed an issue uh, where spamming both the main fire and secondary fire keys for BB-8 uh, would drain the stamina quickly without dealing the appropriate amount of damage. Okay, so I'm glad they're fixing that. They're brand new heroes. So if you're wondering why you're not getting that much advantage for using both triggers, um, they fix that. So they also fix an issue where BB-8 spinner star card would grant 20 seconds of cooldown reduction instead of 10 on epic rarity. Okay, so that's a big fix for that star card. Uh, they fix an issue where there would be no audio playing when inspected the BB-8 and BB-90's voice lines in the front end menu. Okay, so so far they're pretty little changes, but um, they said they fix an issue where BB-8 and BB-90 would eventually play the wrong voiceover lines when they would get to, when they were disrupted. Okay. Uh, various collision uh, VFX and lighting improvements on the MC-85 Star Cruiser and the Resurgent Class Star Destroyer. Okay. Lowered the heat cost for the spool up functionality on the heaviest trooper's sentry abilities. Okay. Fixed an issue where General Griffith's claw rush could completely drain the Stamina of an opponent. Okay, that's probably one of the biggest ones so far that I've read. That one in this star card one up here. But well, let's see what else. Uh, reduce the gain in battle points by 50% for those reinforcements that we talked about earlier. Uh, they made improvements to resolve issues with the hit registration despite dodging lightsaber and melee attacks. Okay, by far that's my favorite change because that's like my biggest issue with this game is the hit detection. Oh, oh my goodness, if they actually fixed this, this game would be a hundred times better. Okay, they did say made improvement, so they never did they fix it. They never said they fixed it. But hey, improving it is better than nothing, okay? I'm glad they're just, like, 
at least acknowledging that it, the hit registration is bad. So I am all for this patch right now. I'm so pumped up now just because of this one change. Oh, I'm excited to try it out. Okay, let's just finish. Um, so they say fix an issue that would block the voice over um, from the emotes of the Republic officer on Camino or Geonosis. They fix a localization issue with the message for sort of jet trooper available being too long for the kill screen in Japanese. Okay, that's only if your game's in Japanese. Uh, made improvements to resolve visual issues with textures popping in when transporting to the capital ships in Chiku, Takadana, and Agent Kloss. Lowered the damage reduction on Darth Vader while using Joe from 75% to 20%, and they updated the mode description for Ewok Hunt. Okay, so overall this is looks like a pretty good um, patch because one, they're doing it this month, which I would have never expected. And my favorite change is that hit detection one. I'm really excited to try that out to see how much they're actually improving it. Um, looks like that's going to be it for this quick update. I will leave the link of this if you guys want to see it and read it for yourselves in the description down below. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. This is The Great Jedi, and may the Force be with you always.